everybody. We are back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the magic pond. I'm talking this pond right here. Oh, she's a beaut. Brother, let me tell you, they can get you some diamonds like nobody's business. I mean, shoot, I was just fishing here not 10 minutes ago. Right, well, okay, it was more 10 minutes ago. It was a while ago. <laughs> it was like an hour ago while Jackson was on his tackle box stream. And uh, I pulled nice little uh, treat out of here. And I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to give it away now. But uh, it was a nice little, nice little treat here. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll have that footage at the end. But today we're talking about the Magic Pond. So first I'm going to show you on the map where it is. So it is, so here's your starting outpost. It's right here. The magic pond. All right. And let me tell you, it seems like you get one everything in here. I know for a fact, because I have either pulled them out myself or I have seen somebody pull them out. Asp. Xander. Roach. And Pike. I have seen people or pulled diamonds of those out myself out of this pond. Now, I've also been told you can get diamond bream out of this pond, too. This pond is magical. And I'll tell you, so for the pike, it seems like people have kind of fished for them kind of all around the lake. Uh, the roach, I've seen the roach pulled out like right here in this area where the waterfall meets the... Oh, we're fishing at night here. Where are we at? three in the morning I've seen him fishing for basically right at that bank right there so let me go up here I've caught my pike here and I watched scarecrow catch a diamond roach here and I'm talking huge monster Norway pike here but crow was right on that bank right there where I'm looking and that's where he caught his diamond roach I caught my diamond pike here and kind of up there towards the river a little bit um, massive and then what I caught earlier today was right in the middle of the pond here. But you can kind of fish around. It's not a huge pond, so it's not going to take you a long time to fish around, you know. So just go try every part of the pond looking for stuff. But this is what we found today. Or this is what I found. And uh, this is what we're, where we're going to be fishing today while I talk a little bit about this. But we're going to go ahead. You know what? It's nighttime, so let's go. Let's throw out, you know, let's throw out some bloodworm for some bream. What do you say? What do you say? Let's change over. Oh, we have the night hook on this one, so let's do six. Um, maybe seven. I mean, yeah, I'm at seven. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. All right. We're just going to throw this out here while we're talking. Let's go down to one foot, see how that works. Um, and kind of take a look at this here. So we're going to go to our handbook. Look at our asp here. Shallow pond, lake shore, shallow lake. So pretty much it looks like you can maybe get a diamond asp anywhere in here. Because this is it, they like shallow ponds, lake shores. Maybe go fish closer to the shore if you want to try try for those. For bream, shallow pond, deep pond, lake shore. Same thing it looks like. It looks like the same thing. Bream maybe could be in all areas of this pond based off of those habitat preferences. And then let's go to the roach. Shallow pond, lakeshore, shallow lake. I mean, looks like it's all going to be... Maybe you want to focus fish in the shores here. It kind of seems like it. Now, the pike, deep pond, lakeshore, shallow lake. I've caught mine in the shallow end, but I wouldn't be surprised if you pull them out of the deep end either. I really wouldn't. But uh, then Xander, Lake Shore, Shadow Lake Deep Lake. Yeah, pretty much it all around here, honestly. Uh-oh, we got something here. Got something. What do we got? But I know the middle of this pond and the shores are great for uh, these fish. Ooh, is this a bream? There's a bream. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's, let's keep fishing for bream and see what we get here. 
fight. There's some been some awesome trophies pulled out of this pond for sure. Uh, great pond. Again, I'll show it on the map. The Magic Pond, coined by the community. They are the ones that uh, labeled this the Magic Pond. But here's your starting outpost. You're going to take the road down. If you don't have it, take the road down. Take this on up. Here's your fast travel trailhead right there. That's where you're going to want to go. It's such an awesome pond. And, you know, what you want to take when you're here, it's kind of tough because you're going to want small stuff for the bream and the roach, but then you're going to want big stuff for the pike and, and for the asp and for the xander. So I, I, <laughs> there's no great setup. Um, and then the other part is, you know, I guess you could probably get away with a little bit of a float, but the pike love those fast action lures, man. So you want to bring you want to bring a bait caster and a float set up, um, and you want to bring your lures, and you, you want to bring all kinds of exercises. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to bring the whole tackle box for this pond, man, because it it's got so many different fish that that can grow to be monsters in here. And it, it, it's not just that, but it's any time of day. Like, we're fishing for bream right now. Bream are a nighttime fish. Xander, nighttime fish. This pond delivers diamonds of both. All right? And then in the daytime, you got the roach. You got the what in the tarnation was that? You got the roach. You got all that kind of stuff. You got the pike. You know, you got all that kind of stuff in the daytime. So, it, it's, it's such a good pond. Again, asp, bream. Pike, Roach, Xander. We're going to keep fishing here for a minute and see what we get. But, uh, you know, other than that, I'm going to I'm gonna add in our little clip from earlier of our surprise diamond. And uh, that's going to be it. Uh-oh, here we go. As we said it, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, it looks like a small one. Looks like a small one. And, oh, it's a Roach. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Well, let's just cast out a couple more times and, and see what we get. That works. What do we got here? This looks a little bit bigger. This looks a little bit bigger. What is this? What is this? I can't even tell what this is based off the way it's fighting. Is this a small little something? Jeez, Alou, it's it's really taking a hot minute. Is this a bream? It's just a little bream. It's just too far away. Well, that's not our diamond, but that's all right. We'll we'll keep we'll we'll keep at it. We'll keep at it. Tarnation. I was taking a picture of my dang old dog. He's sleeping. I said, what? Little dog's cute. And, well, hot dang. We're getting a little something something over here on the red worm. What could it be? What in tarnation? What we got? What is it? What is, is this another... They didn't knock. Wasn't polite. Wasn't no polite fish. Tell you that right now. Wouldn't knock. Is that Xander? I think that's a, I think it's a dang old Xander. Oh, it ain't half bad. It ain't half bad. Let's keep trying for this old bream here. No, no dang old warning. No, no not come Come on, man. And I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like trying to multitask. I can't multitask. I know I can't multitask. I don't know why I'm trying to multitask. Oh, daggum. This thing's taking line. But I don't know why you wouldn't do a southern accent there. <laughs> Oh, it's just a day, folks. It's just been a day for me. Oh, come on. Okay. We just pumped up the drag. We're getting them in. 
We're getting him in, but he was taking line, man. He's slowing us down a little bit. Let's let's pump this up a little bit more. Really get him tuckered out. Pull him on. It ain't no bream, I'll tell you that. What is it? What tarnation. Ooh, this is a slow reel. But she's a steady one. Oh, it's a Xander. It looks like maybe a silver. Yeah, 11 pound silver, not half bad. Not half bad. Norway, I'm going for Xander. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you serious? What? My first. Oh man. My first burbot on Norway. <laughs> I'm going. For Xander. Oh, that is the most burbot thing I've ever seen in my life. That is the most burbot thing I've ever seen. Are you serious? Come on, man. <laughs> oh. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Am I gonna have to meet Jaxie here? Oh, it's an asp. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Diamond asp, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. The magic pod deliver. <laughs> Sorry, Jax had to mute you, buddy. Had to mute that little tackle box stream for a hot second here because I got a diamond arsp. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble no matter what I say. I'm saying it with a P. Asp. P -p -p arsp. The P with a P. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All this fishing. Here it is, baby. Magic pond fishing for you. You love to see it. Here it is. Nice. That's awesome. Diamond arse. Love to see it. It's a daytime. Oh, so a nighttime diamond arse. Love to see it. That's even better. That's even better. Nice. Let's get a, let's get a little photo op. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. The magic pawn delivers. It freaking delivers, man. That's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying, everybody? The magic pawn. That's where you need to be. All right, look where we here. Um, let me just let me just go back here. Hold on. Let me just show you what I was using. All right. So that's what I was using. Okay. Let me see. All right. There we go. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Nope. I was using this rod, this reel, this line, five jig head, grub. You can go bigger for the asp, um, but I was just using a five. So nice. Love to see it. Magic pond. Here we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for this video. If you liked that video, if it was entertaining, leave a like. If it was helpful, informative, leave a like. Um, if you want to see more videos like that, and I got a lot of more guide videos coming, I'll try to have a guide video on every fish. You know, I'm not the best at catching all the fish, but I at least know where they are, and I know what baits to use and the hook sizes to use. 
So, Ultra, looks like we got a little Xander going after that Wormy there. But I'll have a guide for every fish. I may not be the best, but I know what I'm doing. A little bit. Just a little bit. After a few hundred hours, you know, you think you know. But uh, there's a lot to do in this game. So I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Or will I catch you in the next one? I got to remember that little catchphrase, right? Let's, let's get this guy up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get him up. What is this, a silver? 11, 12 pounds? 10.98. That's what I thought. Daggum. All right. Thank you all. I appreciate it. We'll see you. And then we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>